What is up guys, it's Sobash and we are back again with another video and it is update time finally. Yes, Regnum is on the rise. The update will be coming out sometime late tonight, early morning. I uh, believe it's like 2 a.m. to like 6 a.m. sometime in the United States. Uh, like 10-ish sometime in London. Uh, they've got updates out on their Facebook page. I've seen it on Twitter. It's all over the place guys uh, if you're looking for it just go check it out i will also try to leave it in the description below but in this update we have coming we have a lot for a mini update it is a lot what we have we have the 3v3 league that is coming out brand new 3v3 we haven't had any new 3v3 coming out or that has been out in a very long time the 3v3 the seabed scrambles those are the only ones that have ever been out in 3v3. So this is new, it's exciting. It is gonna be league play type of 3v3. So it's gonna be very interesting. The other thing is the character switch function. That is coming out. As you see right here, there are gonna be several different ways that you could do this, okay? You've got one day, you have seven days, you have, oh, let me get to it. I believe it's 60 days, maybe not. No, it's 30 days. 1, 7, 30, and 360 days. So you have the choice of either one, a week, a month, or a year. If you do transfer it though, cool thing about this is you can go into your character info and it'll show you how long it is going to be left on this. If you do not want to continue as that character you transformed into, you can cancel this effect and you will be back to your regular character. How awesome is that? Also coming with this update is very exciting. We have two brand new mounts coming out. Now I did show you the one, which was the dragon, in the update I did about a week ago on the Regnum update. And the new one is going to be a sword along with the dragon. So we have two new mounts and I've also got some goodies with some uh, stats on what these guys are going to be able to do. Now the sword, it is basically a surfboard type sword. You're just going to be gliding around on this thing. And this thing is specialized for high damage output. So look out Battle Royale. This is going to change some things. Base attack on this thing shoots forward a bolt of Tai Chi energy from the sword dealing 200% damage on its foes it hits. The first skill will shoot forth a bright white energy sword capable of piercing enemies in its path and dealing 300% damage. Now if it's used again before the energy sword dissipates, the skill will teleport the player to the spot of the sword, summoning a lightning strike on the spot and dealing an additional 300% damage to the target. What is this? This is insane. Is this, it, 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 this is almost kind of like the mage teleport. Uh, the, plus it deals 300% damage. Get out of here. It's crazy. All right, skill two on the sword mount. The skill has both a passive and an active component. While riding the mount, player will accumulate lightning swords, regaining one every 20 seconds and holding a maximum of three. When used, the skill will summon lightning swords down upon the player dealing 700% damage and stunning enemies for two seconds within a radius effect. Look out, Spark Fang. You're not the only one that's going to be able to stun anymore. All right, and when that's not activated, holding the lightning swords can also result in a passive debuff, causing nearby enemies to deal less damage. The higher mount level, the higher the percent of damage is debuffed. All right, and the second mount, which is this one right here, the dragon. Uh, you had already seen it in the previous update. I showed you a little preview of it, picture I got from the Chinese server. The basic attack on this guy is going to be a shoots forth a fireball and deals 300% damage when he hits the target. And his first skill, he will create a giant protective shield around the dragon protecting the mount for a certain amount of damage for eight seconds now if the shield is not depleted by enemy attacks within that eight seconds it will detonate causing 980 percent damage to nearby enemies so i can already see this guy somebody running around 
seven seconds before they just run into a crowd and boom, run in and explode and just take people out. Hello base camping, this is gonna ruin a lot of stuff for you guys. Thank you very much Snail, you probably have solved that problem with that skill right there. This is gonna be hilarious. Now skill 2 on this guy, the skill both has an active and passive component as well just like on the sword mount. When activated this skill will make the player invulnerable to control effects, freeze, knockdown, etc. And as well it's going to increase crit damage and movement speed for 10 seconds. If I'm correct that's like 5 seconds fast more than spark fang and in addition to that the dragon will leave a trail of flames in its wake dealing 150% damage every half a second for 3 seconds. So not only, not only can you go in and blow people up, yet when you're running away, if somebody's chasing you, they're going to be getting eat up with damage from this thing right here. Now when the passive of this skill will regenerate the mount's health at a given rate, the faster regeneration the higher the mount level. So this mount can heal itself. This is insane guys. Regnum update coming out tonight, early morning, whatever time zone you're in. Look for it. I'll leave the times in the description below. Any questions about this, comments, leave them guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.